Hi everyone, Karen Hadler here, Independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in New Zealand. So this month's theme for the Global Stamping Video Hop is all about, um, let's turn this truck up, so up the right way, uh, all about upcycle, recycle. So I wanted to share an in-colour, down-under Christmas card using, so we're going to use the Trucking Along stamp set and punch, but I don't know about you, you know, you get all the... Um, beautiful designer series papers like this and you have on the back the um cardboard so this has got this thick cardboard piece. and then you also get papers that have the smaller white piece okay so we're going to be using a piece of this today And let's just pop that aside and we'll get back to that. But I'm that, just going to share that with you. But we can also use, I use the this for doing ribbon. And this is such a great idea. If you are making multiple packs or something like that, with this ribbon, for example, I know that this length is six inches. And if I wanted 12, then I would cut it here. So if I wanted six, I would cut it at each end. So you just wrap it round as many times as you think you might need, and then you cut it so much easier than having to measure each piece. And of course, you've got the length as well. So that's eight and three quarters. So that's like, what, um, 17 and a half inches if you wanted to do both sides. So really, really good to keep these. Keep them up in lots of different measurements and use them for that. So that's one way to upcycle or recycle your um, leftover cardboard. Okay, let's get started with the project and I will share with you. So I'm going to use crumb cake and this is petunia popped. Don't you love petunia pop? It is gorgeous. And I'm just going to pop that on. Is with a bit of glue. There you go. And I'm going to put it at a little bit of an angle. Might do it that way. Okay. So now I've got another piece of crumb cake and I'm going to grab my mat and I'm going to use Versamark and add a watermark, a watermark look on here. And I'm going to use the cloud stamp to start off with and just add some of these. Okay, and the next one I'm going to do with the same thing is, this is just a stamp set that's in it for the flowers, but I'm going to use it down here to look like sand. There we go. Right. So I have got some strips that I've done with the Unbound Beauty. Um, I've already done some of the tearing. I'm going to make sort of like, I um, don't know how many I'll need, sort of make it look like water. And this is in the In Colours. Okay, so just ripping this one. So if you want the white, you rip towards yourself. If you want um, no white, then you rip away. See how that's not got the white on there? And this one has. I'm just putting a few there. Cool. And one more maybe. And this one I'm going to do both. it'll be the last piece. <clears throat> there we go. So it just gives that look of um, the sea waves. Okay. There we go. So let's just pop those on. Okay. Next, I have used the two and three-eighths punch. 
and I have cut out, uh, oh gosh, where have I put my bits and pieces? Oh, here we go. I have cut out a white circle and I have cut out this gold mercury vellum. Just love, I have used this so much. It's just, just, just fabulous. And it's sort of going to be, for me, I just want it to sort of be a little bit like the sun. So I'm going to use my Stampin' um, Seal for that one. Just add a little bit on there. And pop it on. I just like the white underneath because it really makes that gold, that gold pop. Okay, so we've got that ready. So next, let's set those aside. We're going to use a strip of paper. And let's just turn that over. A snip, uh, basic white. Okay, let's stamp our truck. And I'm going to be using. Petunia Pop, a favourite colour of mine. So there's two ways you can do this. You can stamp the truck first and then the outline or vice versa. Doesn't matter which way. I don't mind if it's a bit blotchy because that's, you know, it's a truck. It's a well-worn truck that goes to the beach in actual fact. Okay. And then let's get the black. Pop it up the right way. Okay. Hopefully I can do this right. Looking sometimes when you're doing a video, you can't get right over the top, which is hard. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Put the lid on that. And I have got... Um, some Stampin' Blends is going to do the tire in the middle. There is um, stamps you can do that with as well. I'm just going to use this today. And so I didn't do the center. And we can do that. I'm using the bullet end, of course. The paintbrush end is just a little bit too big. And I've got some balmy blue. I'm just going to add, and it's light balmy blue. I'm just going to add a bit of color to the windows. But, of course, I don't want it as dark as that so I've added the balmy blue and then I'm going to go in with the color lifter and just lift a bit of that blue just so it's a little that one can stay the same actually but just so that's not quite as dark okay next we're going to punch it out so I always like to put it in the punch and then go down about halfway so that I'm happy with where it is. There we go. Okay, let's stamp what's going to go in the back of the truck. It's quite dark, isn't it? <clears throat> I might just do it a little bit lighter than that. And I'm going to be using Shy Shamrock, keeping with the in color Christmas theme. So this is for the palm tree. So we'll line that up. And then we'll just color the surfboard and the beach ball with Stampin' Blends, the in color Stampin' Blends. This is peach pie. This is light peach pie. So the first one was dark. And then I'm just going to use the dark, pretty in pink, for this one. There we go. And in a circle. Right. So, what I would recommend next is to then 
just glue that on to your thick, I'm using a thicker piece of um, the backing from the designer series paper. So this is another way to use that thick one. So we'll just let that dry. And then with the punch and the white backing, I have just gone around and I've cut five of these out. I could use the circles for something else. They're for the wheels, of course. And then I'm just going to line them up. I've pre-cut them. I didn't think you'd want to listen to that punch going. Okay. Let's add some stamp and seal on these ones. Put them all in the one direction. So you don't need to worry about adding glue to the whole thing, of course. And that one. Okay. So then I'm just going to add them to the back of my truck. Oops. We all want to get in there on the act already. So just add them to the back like so. And one more. So that is the truck ready to go. And then once this is dry, just cut this out and to the size you want, obviously. And just cut round there until that is sorted. And then you put them on your card. So I have put that circle with the mercury vellum on the back. The truck is down there. And I have used Shy Shamrock for the um, sentiment. And I have um, just ripped those a little bit more down the side there and added that. So a quick, easy way to add thickness. So that's got that thick card underneath and that's got the white layers underneath, as you can see. Um, perfect for creating a lovely three-dimensional card. And this is going to be a down under, down under in color Christmas card. Um, and of course, with my gorgeous pink truck. I hope this um, helps you upcycle, recycle your backings from your designer series paper. And make sure that you click on the next person and find out some fantastic ways and ideas on using and upcycling upcycling and recycling um, other items, which um, will be great to add to your list. So take care, everybody, and see you again next month. Bye.